When you dive in Silphra's Cathedral, you're struck by how much power there can be in nature. It tore the two sides of this fissure apart and you get this incredible, awe-inspiring experience. Silfra is basically a rift valley, so on one side you have the North American tectonic plate, on the other side you have the Eurasian plate. In all the places I've ever been diving in the world, I've never seen water this clear. So the water is some of the purest water you'll find on the planet. It's been filtered from the glacier Langjukult over 50 years, or maybe even longer, through volcanic rock before it makes a, um, its appearance as Silfra itself. Silfra is incredibly unique because of the clarity of the water. You get over 100 meters of visibility here, 300 plus feet. Most tropical destinations, you're lucky if you get 30 meters of visibility. Some people do get vertigo when they're diving in Silfra because it's so clear, it feels like you're flying above a canyon. It's challenging because of the cold. It's two to three degrees Celsius all year round. It doesn't change, it doesn't freeze. Most people never really dive in water that's colder than 15 or 16. So to bring it down to two degrees requires a unique setup of equipment. We all have to be dry suit divers. The surrounding temperature can be below zero. Got uh, hurricane strength winds, whiteout visibility sometimes. So you are in an extreme environment. The key is timing. You've got the weather to contend with. You've got the amount of people to contend with. When we do have some serious winter conditions, it's about doing things quickly, but correctly. So you really have to trust your equipment. You have to be able to trust in your skills, and you have to make sure that your skills are as hot as they were the day you learned them. It's not a gentle hop into the Mediterranean or something like that. You are in the, in the far north. If you can dive silver, you can dive anywhere. Prospects built for the challenge. Seiko.